and welcome to a very short just a little uh, amendment slash additional video so i've had a request um from a few people now about how to work with audio if your audio for for example in spark ar just doesn't work um largely if your file or audio file doesn't import it's because you haven't actually got the settings quite right so as i've already covered in a earlier video, you need to make sure that audio that you're working with in Spark AR has to be in a .m4a format and we need to make sure that it's 44.1 uh, kilohertz and is 16-bit mono. So the way I tend to do this is uh, I tend to use Audacity because it's free and you need to also make sure that you have this plugin which is basically a lame and FFmpeg uh, MPEG, uh, library for Audacity. Uh, this just allows you to work in the .m4a format uh, if you don't already have that format installed on your machine. Uh, I'm not going to go for how to install this because it's all in the actual uh, web link. And the way to find it is just literally to search for Audacity .m4a plugin, essentially. Okay, so we've got this audio file here. Then this audio file already is a .m4a format, but this would work if it was a .wav or .m4p3, and I might actually show you how to fix that in a second. Uh, but if it's already like this and it's already a mono channel, we just need to go to the little drop down arrow here, change its format to be 16 bit, and then we need to change its rate to be 44.1 hertz. I'm also going to change my project hertz rate to be the same. Now, this is done, I'll just go to File, Export, Export Audio, make sure it's the M4A codec, the FFmpeg, and then save it where you want to. Now, I'm just going to quickly see if I can find an audio file that isn't mono, just to show you another uh, kind of solution. So, yeah, let's import this. Okay. So, let's say you've got an audio format like so, which is a WAV format. Uh, we've got two channels. We have our right and our left channel, so we've got two tracks. Uh, this, if we convert this to M4A and we've got all the settings wise, it still wouldn't work because it's two channel. So how do we fix that? We click on a little drop down out here. We go split stereo channel. This will now create you two tracks or two files, essentially. I'm just going to close the bottom one. So remove the right or the left, depending on which channel you want to keep. You can also merge two channels together if you really want to, but that can also cause you other issues. Um, just FYI on that. And again, we just make sure the format is 16 bit and the rate is 44.100. So 44.1, then file export and export it as your M4A format. This will basically is the only format and the only audio format, sorry, that Spark AR recognizes. And this is a basically a troubleshooting on how to uh, resolve that issue if you're having issues with audio in Spark AR. So I've been Steen Fisher. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with more tips and tricks. Goodbye.